I welcome all of you and you are watching the daily group discussion topic uh, and uh, group discussion uh, on uh, Europedia and I have already told you the re relevance of group discussion is a very very important thing for all of you who are seeking career in placement companies or public sector or management courses. So group discussion is a basically domain of practice. You practice more, you get uh, more and more improved. If you ask me, group discussion is a very, very simple thing. Anybody can master the skill of GD. You can go there. But only thing is you need to practice a lot. You need to remove the hesitation and you need to practice a lot. Many people think group discussion is all about knowledge of the topic. Believe me, it is not there. No doubt some part, some knowledge is required. But I have seen students with no knowledge excelling in the group discussion and I've seen students with a lot of knowledge not speaking anything in the group discussion. So it is all about practice. You need to do that. And your PDA always motivate you for encourage you for that discussion. We impart you uh, almost daily. Uh, basically topics are being provided to you and GD keeps on going on in your PDA along with the mentors, the expert mentors and also all over India. But our students are there in different management courses of public sector. They keep on discussing and they keep on coming on our uh, platform. So today's topic is can women be good drivers? You know group discussion topics are of two types. One are those which are in current relevance something like uh, COVID situation or um, you know all uh, this uh, new education policy we talk about or line of actual control pe kya chal raha hai or jo bhi hai, jo current bhi issues hai. Kuch topics are evergreen. Anytime they can be discussed. They are the topic controversial topics. They are the philosophical topics. They are the social topics. Any topics. So this is one of them. And you know how we need to start this is okay friends my name is Vijender Singh and I initiate the discussion uh, friends in my opinion the topic for the discussion today given is um, can women be good drivers uh, so friends in my opinion uh, yes certainly uh, they can be in fact they are good drivers but yes this topic is not a gender specific topics and we should uh, discuss why this topic is even uh, given to us so what is the reason why this question is being asked we will discuss about that and then we will with some uh, facts and figures we should prove that yes women are good drivers they can be good drivers and, uh, and I'm very sure all of you have relevant points in this direction and now I invite all of you to uh, give your contribution in the discussion so you have two lines and the discussion is open now the knowledge is about knowledge so uh, you can always, you know, in your group discussion, you can always raise question. You can always raise question. Friends, I want to, uh, in fact, to discuss this topic, I want to ask a question. Is driving, is driving a gender based skill? That is my question. This is basically the psycho motor or sensory sensory motor skill I mean where your reflex action sensory perception sens your senses your physical body and uh, coordination is required so this is a sensory motor or psychomotor skill and this is is this gender based skill I mean man woman uh, sex related phenomena uh, friends before we discuss this or you know, for the discussion of this I want to raise a valid question here do you think uh, driving is gender based phenomena or is it sensory motor you have psychomotor skill related phenomena psychomotor skill means there is an age in which you should learn these psychomotor skills uh, you will agree with me that uh, after one age, let's say you are 40 plus and if you start uh, learning the driving, you may not become very good driver. But early age, if you learn it, you become good drivers. So whether you are a, uh, you are a boy or you are a girl, it does not depend upon that. So why this question is being asked? So friends, in my opinion, this question is being asked in the context of India. So let me friends give you some data here to put my point. In US, more than 50% of valid license holders are women. Listen again. In USA, more than 50% of valid license holders are women. In India, only 11% are women. Only 11% are women. More than 50%. That means, jitne bhi license holder hai, so all over license gaya, to 50% se jada women ke paas hai. That means, women are more driving. And in India, it is less driving. 
and in Saudi Arabia, if I tell you, in Saudi Arabia, only recently women were given permission to drive. Otherwise, they were not given permission to drive. That means it is all about giving the opportunities. It is all about giving the opportunities of driving. Then, friends, you can always uh, give the example. You know, example will make your uh, this discussion very strong. You can always say that in the family also, I have seen that I have a sister and I am. I was given opportunity to drive. Maybe my father gave me his scooter or motorcycle and started driving. Father did not give that motorcycle or scooter to the daughter. Daughter never asked for and he, she was not given. So this is opportunity. In the family also, when there is a boy and then there is a girl, girls do not get opportunity or they do not seek opportunity. And that is the reason they do not learn it. And that is the reason this question comes. Also friends, I want to link this particular thing at least in the case of India and why this is happening. This is also related to the economic opportunities. Economic opportunities. You know, majority of us know that father is earning and mother is housemaker. Mother is taking care of house. So who drives every day? Father only. So in the country where 50% of the workforce, uh, where the women are not even 10 or 20 percent of the workforce organized sector in that economy women are not even driving so if women is not part of workforce they are not going out for the job they are not going out to earn money they will not feel like driving they don't require driving and hence they will not be driving on the roads and this question will come but in countries like us that is uh, social systems is different their women not, cannot afford to sit at home you have to earn and if you have to earn you have to drive in US, even the people with this 80 years plus age, they are driving. They, they don't have option. They have to drive only. Why? Because uh, they do not have social support system. Their kids are not taking care of them. So they have to take care of them themselves. And also dri hiring driver is very costly. In India, situation is different. So why old people are not driving in India? Why they are driving in US? Why woman is not driving in India? Why they are driving in US? That is related to also this part economic basically uh, opportunities and economic uh, basically exploration also so it is all about providing the opportunities mindset ecosystem and as i told you this is also related to the economy also so at the end you can conclude that friends yes i am strongly of the opinion that women are good drivers it is all about how and when they get the opportunities if you do not give opportunity to anybody he cannot become a driver so in indian context that is a main trouble opportunities are not being provided and that is the reason this question is being asked but i do not think women are not better drivers than men it is not a gender specific issue uh, women are better drivers so, so this is how you can justify your point let me tell you uh, in group discussion you can take any side it is not that it's positive only negative only both are to be taken you can take any side only thing is what side you have taken, you have to justify that. With the data, fact, figures, examples, your own family examples, start giving more and more examples. That will consolidate your position. Fine? Thank you.